You're listening to Show the Boy Raider Football, also streaming online at WMKTZTalkStation.com. Welcome back to Kitsky Field, uh, where our Charlotte Boy Raiders were victorious tonight and are now playoff bound. I'm going to flip it over to Al and I'll let him interview uh, both yeah. these uh, Charlotte Boy Raider players. I, I wasted our time, got on here reading through the list of seniors because Coach Bindi sent them all off, which I love. And we talked about that. Maybe that's what he would do us is, uh, what would you win the last three players of the game tonight? But Spencer Bruce, first of all, uh, the guy on the line there, talk about what the feeling is right now headed to the playoffs next weekend. Probably one of the best feelings in the world. It's been five years since we last made it, and all I know is I want to give a shout-out to my other uh, teammates back in the locker room. They're all my family and everything, so it's a, a great feeling. How about you coming back from all the injuries that you've been through, Spence? I mean, there probably was some question whether you're even going to be able to finish up your senior year on the field and then to finish it at home. With a 62 to nothing win like that, that's got to be a good feeling. Oh, yeah. Uh, funny thing, I saw my ACL last year, and then I got all the crabs and gained some weight. <laughs> so, uh, I was like, you know what, my family needs me back. So I just got in the weight room and lift upper body every single day. And then once I finally got my legs back, football season hit. So. <laughs> well, great job. Well, we're going to move you. We're going to have to go quick because we got 10 guys here. But, uh uh, who, uh, don't fight uh, over who has to talk next. Spencer, oh, Spencer Kilpatrick doesn't want to talk. Was when did that ever happen? Wow. Right, Spence? Amazing, Spence. Spence, listen, I, I, we could talk football, but what about the Pittsburgh Pirates? Losing that play-in playoff game. I've been wanting to ask you about that for weeks now. They had to tear you up. They make the playoffs two years in a row, and they can't even get one game won this year. Well, the Giants are they're a good ball team, and the, they got a chance to win the World Series, and it's a matter of getting healthy and getting some young All right. All right. That's good. All right. I don't have to get you with that. But, uh, Spence, talk about uh, how you guys felt coming into the game tonight. It looked like a very, to use Mr. Boss' expression, powered up team just from the get-go. Yeah, they've had three wins, and Coach Benny was made very sure that we didn't underestimate them because they they have talent on the team, and they had speed, and they had big linemen, but... We prepared, and we just took care of business. All right. Well, nice job, Spencer. Look at assembly line, Scott, as they come through. Adam, Misha. Adam, listen, I want to ask you about one of your teammates. You are, were the master of the pick six, and then tonight we saw Truman Loft take one to the house. What, what's going on out there? What are you guys drinking in the Gatorade, man? I didn't get anything, but uh, we had a good rush on the quarterback, my brother, Andrew. Right. Yeah, I tipped it, and uh, Truman was just there. Didn't know what to do with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> he just ran as fast as I've ever seen him. It was, it was a good play, a real good play, actually. He was powered up, though, you think? Oh, yeah, he was bouncing around. Oh, yeah, he he said, what I heard on the sidelines was that he was trying to go Misha. And he was trying to go to the yield and uh, pulled that off. So, uh, Adam, talk about the playoffs, man. This is something I'm sure you guys have been looking forward to for a long time. Looked like maybe, you know, last year struggled. And talk about... How you guys have come along yeah, this season? Um, ever since uh, my brother's team in 2007 made it to first round playoffs, uh, they hosted a game against Kingsley, but they they lost. But ever since then, I just wanted to just get that play up, or playoff like Brett Birch or whatever it is. Yep. Birch, and, uh, yeah, I got you. And uh, just it's the biggest feel, best feeling in the world, and uh, I'm just happy to be there. Awesome, great job tonight, Adam. All right, Spencer Stewart. Thank you. Do. Do. Yeah, I have a hard time bringing Stu out of the shell. Oh, so. Uh, yeah. Thanks, he's man. to talk, Stu. I know it. What's, I know it. <laughs> Listen, man, what uh, what was going on in the locker room after? We didn't think you guys were going to make it up here because there probably was a pretty big uh, party going on. Oh, that. yeah, we're just really excited and pumped up for next week. We're going to go hot on Monday and just focus on Friday or Saturday. We're going to go and get a W again. So. Awesome. Just to hang on to that mic for just one second. Okay. Talk a little bit, if you will, about the face change of the offensive and defensive line. You, what has made the difference when we started the year a little lackluster, buddy, uh, and all of a sudden this line on both sides of the ball, that we're off with the ball. We're firing out. And, I mean, what's, in your opinion, what's what's going on? What's the difference? My opinion at the start, we're like, we got a big line. We're going to push off. And then first game hit, we it got checked into reality, said we're not as big as we think. And then after the first couple games, three games, one and two, and then we come out, come back two and two, we're like, okay, we need a bigger. We've been going out at practice and just going.
going really hard. So, so awesome. I, you can tell your buddies, buddy, that in my opinion, the huge difference, in, or one of the huge difference in this squad is we are off with the count, and we are moving the lumber. Oh, yeah, we're big boys, but we also quit real quick. All right, there you go. All right, Andrew Misha. Andrew, listen, man, talk about what, kind of pick up what Scott and uh, Spence were just talking about, but I want to talk to you specifically about the defensive side, because like Adam said, uh, that interception, really you were the key to that, uh, getting in on him and tipping the ball, and uh, you guys had a great pass rush going tonight. They didn't throw the ball a whole lot, but when they did, he was in all kinds of hot water. What's going on with that pass rush? It's just really about our discipline on the line, staying low, our aim points for hips, and just doing our assignments on the Field. It's just we're doing what we're told to do, coach should do, and I just give it up to our defensive line coach. Awesome. Who's, and, uh, and say it on here. Who's, who is it? John Hahn. Okay. Coach Hahn. The other coach Hahn and company getting it done for you guys. And I tell you, in my opinion, it's been, been the big swing. Uh, you guys are getting after it. And uh, so next week we're here and maybe Nagani. Uh, well, you guys are going to have to wait till Sunday, find out who you're playing, and then uh, probably Coach Vinny will track down some films or something. And is that the plan of attack? Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Well, fun stuff, Andrew. Well, thanks. Nice job tonight, and we'll have you back to the line. We still, how many guys we got left? Are you guys? Uh, wow. All right. Whew. Nate Moon. Nate Moon. Nate Moon only gets to play half of the game and racks up uh, some cool <laughs> touchdowns. Runs for three, throws for one. Nate, uh, yeah, talk, talk about your time on the bench uh, there watching the, the offense play in the second. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, talk about earlier on, and Scott was talking about how uh, as the season's gone on and this is your second year, you know, playing quarterback here, does that option get easier for you to see, read your keys and kind of get a better sense of when to keep the ball, when to give it up, so yeah. on? It gets easier every day of practice. We wrap it a lot. I mean, the only way to – really perfect this offense is reps and more reps. So I'm just seeing it clearly now towards the end of the season because we've been doing it a whole lot more. Nate, Nate, I think one of the things that's also, as you see it clear, you move down the line of scrimmage with a lot more confidence. Um, I see the biggest difference in you is that read step is instead of going in into the line and penetrating like a person's tendency is, you're going laterally where you can see the defensive end and the backer. And I just want to say to you, I think these reads are coming way more natural. And when it's time to tuck the ball, and you did so tonight, it's got to be a lot more fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, the line really do a good job making a It's going to be wrong. Yep, exactly. There and I go. think... What I'm seeing is you got that down now, and decisions are coming crisp and clean, and that in the option is a troublesome thing for the defense. So I want to say really nice growth and maturity on the part of Nate Moon and company. So, uh, buddy, I'll let you uh, hand that microphone to the last. Is it the last one? one? Nate, is it? this the last one? I'm, this guy, I'm sorry. I'm nervous. I know about most it. of the guys by face, but what? your name, son. I don't know that we've met. Yeah, I know. It's been, it's been a while since I've seen you, I mean, right before the game. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I saw, yeah, I saw you really have to overcome a lot. Well, 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 the old man. well I tell you what, probably threw him in a tailspin. Will kissed his mom today, which I think is the first time since he turned about eight. Yeah. Well, I thought that I threw the whole game into a tizzy, but uh, he overcame. Uh, well, what I want to ask you about is one player that I saw out there. Now, Coach Bindi made a conscious decision that your shoulder's been giving you all kinds of fits. Mm -hmm. You've sat one game. You've uh, struggled with it on and off halfway through the season. And so tonight you're just going to play offense, right? That's yep. the plan. Yep. So Nate Moon uh, gets a pass tipped and picked off, mm -hmm. and there's a guy with the ball coming right in front of you. Yep. And you drill the guy. Oh, yeah. And then it looked to me like... You got the worst of it because you were hurt. One tackle, and it screws that shoulder up. Yeah, well, I saw the kid pick off the ball, so I'm obviously just going to start to go after him and 
tried to duck my left shoulder into him, and then he kind of cut back on me. So just took the ball right to the right shoulder and didn't feel too good. Well, how does it feel now? You, you, it's nice that Eric could give you some eyes, and you haven't even put it on yet. You still got pads on and everything, but how does that feel? Well, it's feeling pretty good right now. I'm sure it'll be pretty sore in the morning. But just yeah. well, do you think you're going to be able to play your catcher position in baseball? That's what he's worried about. Yeah. <laughs> what I, what I <laughs> feel that's is what that I'm going to be playing. Playing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I think so what's right. happening is you're going to end up playing first base left-handed. Okay. I don't have a problem with that. And probably, so probably, probably you'll be better than that. Uh, probably, well, or you could maybe catch the left. Well, you had that first baseman graduate. We were kind of talking about who the first baseman would be for next year. So, uh, don't think that that's beyond the realm of possibility. Hey, we'll talk about, uh, now, you scored a touchdown in the first game of the season, yep. right, against Elk, and then you took seven games off, right, and then you scored another one tonight. Talk about that. I thought it was a cool play call by Coach Klinger. We get the onside kick, and then it's kind of like you see it in the pros, like, man, we're just going to go for the dagger. They're kind of down. And uh, talk about that play. Well, yeah, right before that, I think the drive before that, he asked me if I could beat that kid off the line. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to tell him no. I just kind of ran out at him and gave him a little stutter step, and he did on him and just went right by him. And then I was kind of nervous I was going to drop that one. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't I, I, I was I was to do all the I had to do it because that was another uh, touchdown, right? You had it dialed. Well, kind of down by my knee. <laughs> oh, I don't know. And he's out on the sideline, and, you know, he's kind of like, he's like, you know, you got to slide and get that ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Coach, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to do it. You were fooling away with Coach Bindi invitation. Oh, the Coach Bindi invitation, let me think. Uh, this week, earlier this week, when he kept talking about Harvard, it's kind of like, you know, you guys got, can't take them light at times. You know, you guys just got to go out there and play a tough game because they're a tough team, you know. Hey, well, say this about Bindi, though, because two years, this is only his second year, and we're in the playoffs. I, don't, I think last year we were a good team, but just a lot of adjusting to the offense and stuff and working out the kinks. And I think now this year, we kind of showed that we were still working out at the beginning of the year, but now I think we got it. Good. All right. All right. All right. Now we got the other hurdle, Will, right? Because now we're in the playoffs. But I think you were looking at the stats, telling me our playoff history over the past few years is not good. Not that good. Right? We, we haven't even had a close game in the playoffs. The closest game was like we lost by 30 or something. All right. So, so we got some work to do. And uh, Well, tell us if Nagani comes here, Will. We still got a little bit of a score to settle with some of those kids from uh, beating us in the baseball regionals two years ago. So, uh, but uh, they're talented bunch. I'm surprised they're on, what's their record? Six and three? Uh, I think they're, they might be five and four, actually. Five and four. Not, so, uh, we went up some in the uh, dome, and uh, they very talented team, but they might, you know, you never know who they lose. But, uh, all right, Will. Well, nice job. Will Tallyhoff, number three. Uh, get that ice on your shoulder. Uh, big win tonight for the Charlotte Red Raiders, 62 nothing. And uh, Coach Bindi got to give them all kinds of credit. Uh, I want to say though, two seniors we didn't have up here. Devin Largent did not, the man of few words, did not come up here, and Sammy Hobie, who's uh, injured, so he obviously we didn't want him to bring the crutches uh, all the way up here. But 62 uh, uh, nothing our final score here tonight. So we'll wrap it up again. As I said, we'll be. Uh, with the Raiders, wherever they're at, uh, in the playoffs next weekend, either Friday night or Saturday afternoon, and looking a whole lot, Scott, like it's going to be a home game for the Raiders. So uh, looking forward to that. So for my partner, Scott Boss, this is Al Kogenhoff, wishing you a good evening.